truss cord assembly. It's like 19 of them, and they had roughly 30 components on there, um, and 70, 75 minutes for the robot to fabricate it, and the assurance of the part was 100%. His vision over the last 20 years was heavily focused on technology. John Hass, he, uh, he started the company in his garage, and today we're, we've, uh, we have multiple beam lines, saw lines, uh, angle lines, and robotics. Benefits of Petty Assembler to our customers is it allows us to be more efficient, it allows us to drive the cost down on the project, it allows us to be more competitive on bid day, and it allows us to shorten schedule. What the Petty Assemblers pushed out um, in the month of April was like 18.7 uh, tons per day. Um, so we're, all, we're, we're our goal is to do a load of shift, uh, a completed load, 45,000 pounds um, a shift. So we're getting close. We're getting close to it, which is it's pretty impressive. We reduced fabrication time by 50% easy on a lot of projects. What's cool about one of the operators we have is he came off the fabrication floor, um, so we were able to tie his the fabrication skill and in, into the technology of letting the robot do all the manual work and see it. And, and he's he was even floored by the technology that's that, that's here that we're that we're utilizing. Just it's human error, right? We all, all make mistakes and things like that. So that's just something that the robot kind of weeds out. Um, it's just. It's cut and dry every time. Benefits to our shop guys on the Petty Assembler is it takes away the monotonous repetitive work. Um, it, it, it gives us additional manpower and once again in today's market where it's hard to find manpower, Petty Assembler is a great supplement for that. What we're pushing out now, um, the fabrication side, we've, we've two to three times faster on a lot of our, a lot of our assemblies. Now you got, you got assemblies that, you know, maybe you're only 20 to 30 percent in reduction, um, but there's some that are two, three times faster. Like the more, the more small part assemblies that we get put on the beam, we see that it's just exponential how much time we gain. There's a specific project um, that we had come to the machine. There's a truss cord assembly. It's like 19 of them, and they had roughly 30 components on there, um, and it, 70, 75 minutes for the robot to fabricate it and the assurance of the part, the right location, at the right dimension where it's being put on the main assembly um, was 100%. Where as opposed to, you know, manual fabrication, a good skilled labor, three and a half hours just to fabricate. The flow of the new expansion, we bring the material up, we load the end feed, um, operator makes the program, runs the material, and then we, if needed, it gets separated on our outfeed by job or by part um, and just move along. The expansion's gonna grow. Our plan is to add another BDL, another saw, and another liberator. So we'll have two lines in this building, basically back-to-back, -back, two operators running all six machines. It's gonna be very important that this line stays up and running to provide that petty assembler with plenty of material. Profit software behind it for itself is is, is amazing. Um, that's kind of like the, the meat and potatoes to the to the system right there. How they integrated that to, to control the robots um, and be able to make that so user friendly. The other features that uh, we like about the Petty Assembler are um, the rotation. Um, be able to rotate that beam 360 degrees um, and not have to put a lift in there or a chain or a crane or the crane hoist. I'm gonna turn that piece. Um, that's that's really nice, and it's in position every time. And you're guaranteed the part being put on the right place.